So this question is a diagram question. Any question that the test, where the test provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. What we have here is a scatter plot with a line of best fit. The instructions here tell us that. It says the scatter plot shows the relationship between two variables, x and y. A line of best fit is also shown, so you can see that in the graph here. The question goes on to say, which of the following equations best represents the line of best fit? Shown. So anytime I'm finding the equation for a line, I need to think about using the slope-intercept equation, y equals mx plus b, where m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. So on this graph, if I identify the y-intercept and identify the slope, I should be done. So the y-intercept is the easiest thing to find. I see that that's there. Looks like around 13.5 or so. Looking at my answer choices, I see that I have 13.5 in choices A and B, and I have negative 13.5 in choices C and D. And just to make a small note before continuing on, the answer choices have converted my y equals mx plus b structure into y equals b plus mx. But it's the same exact thing, right? So let's not allow that to cause us any confusion at all. So that's why our first number here is our y-intercept. So we know that our y-intercept is positive, not negative. So c and d are gone for that reason. Now our slope, which whenever I have a visual on the slope, or on my line, I like to think of slope as rise over run. So how, how am I getting from the y-intercept, let's say down to this last point over here? I'd go down, so my rise would be negative, because I'm going down. And then I'm running to the right, which is in a positive direction, which means overall my rise over run is negative over positive, which gives me a negative slope altogether. So I know my slope should be negative, and I see that here for choice B. Choice A has a positive slope, and that's why choice A is not correct. So choice B is the best answer here.